the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. You're very welcome to Mass today on the 14th Sunday of Ordinary Time. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who in the abasement of your Son have raised up the fallen world, fill your faithful with holy joy. For on those you have rescued from the slavery to sin, you bestow eternal gladness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus exclaimed, I bless you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for hiding these things from the learned and the clever and revealing them to mere children. Yes, Father, for that is what it pleased you to do. Everything has been entrusted to me by my Father, and no one knows the Son except the Father, just as no one knows the Father except the Son and those to whom the Son chooses to reveal him. Come to me, all you who labour and are overburdened, and I will give you rest. Shoulder my yoke and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. Yes, my yoke is easy and my burden light. The Gospel of the Lord. Not long ago I was reading this article where it says that a sizable number of people in our society are caught up in a culture of dependency on one thing or another. I've noticed also where three to four billion pounds was spent last year from social security budget on people with various addictions. That could have been better spent on finding a cure for the coronavirus which claimed the lives of over 44,000 people to date. The Gospel, of course, today is also about dependency. Not on man-made things, but on God himself. Now, just as little children rely completely on their parents, so in the same way we must rely solely on God. God can help wrench us away from dependence on things which can do us harm. He said at the end of the Gospel today, Come to me, all you who labour and are burdened, and I will give you rest. The more we 
we believe in God, I believe, the easier, easier it is to believe in our own innate goodness. God has endowed us with unique gifts which are meant to be utilised. Remember the parable of the talents. I will be incapable of developing those same God-sent, God-given talents if I fall victim to compulsions of one kind or another. My social media usage, for instance, could be getting out of hand, and I may even be oblivious to it. If I'm hooked on this, my freedom to develop other relevant areas of my life may be compromised. It's very frustrating, for instance, for children if a parent is forever chit-chatting on their mobile phone. Some people become slaves to sinful habits. When St. Augustine, for instance, turned his back on impure habits, he said the demons tormented him by whispering in his ear, are you sure now that you can live without us? He proved the demons wrong, however. The question we could ask is, what demons can we not live without? Could it be overwork, too much wine, compulsive shopping, or sports mania, or God knows what? Some time ago, here in the hall at the back, we had a lovely talk on walking the Camino, which is a 900 mile walk, and it takes five or six weeks to complete. There you get away completely from the topsy-turvy of everyday life. Your mind is free and relaxed. You just focus on each day's walk. Now the man giving the talk, the talk said, you would be surprised by the number of people who, through the five-week Camino experience, had, freed, had been freed from things in their lives they thought they could never do without. It was a real liberating experience for them. When Jesus said that the mysteries of the kingdom were revealed to mere children in today's gospel, he knew that children find happiness in the simple things of life. Parents or grandparents should not worry about their children going about what I might call must-have things with designer labels on them. They are often aggressively advertised for the younger generation. But parents and godparents, by always giving in to their children's demands, they can inadvertently be sowing the seeds of unhealthy needs in their children. The best gift you can give your children is your time, your attention, yourself. Our aim should be to live uncultured uncomplicated lives. The best thing in lives are in life are free. Saint Teresa Valley, she puts it like this Let nothing disturb you, let nothing frighten you, all things pass. God never changes. Whoever has God wants for nothing, he alone suffices.
God is ever creative. His love renews all things and is the source of our hope. Let us serve him with confidence now in this prayer. We give thanks for the order of created things. You have blessed us with the resources of the earth and the gift of human life. Lord, hear us. We give thanks for man's share in your continuing work of creation. We praise you for your gifts to him of inventive skill and creative action. Lord, hear us. We pray for all the nations of the world. May those in authority work for peace and goodwill among all men and women. Lord, hear us. We pray for all who are homeless today. We pray for families searching for a place to live and for refugees driven from their homeland. Lord, hear us. We pray for our recently deceased, especially Tony Hayes and John Connolly and those whose anniversaries are occurred around this time. May they inherit the eternal life. Lord, us. Let us pause and pray for our own intentions. Lord, hear us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The Healing Prayer Merciful God, come to the help of your people. Be our shelter in this time of peril and strengthen the bonds of our community. Bring healing to all who suffer the ravages of disease and assist those whose skill and art can put an end to this affliction. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. God our Father, listen to our prayers today and grant us the things we ask for. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice in my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May this salvation dedicated to your name purify us, O Lord, and day by day bring our conduct closer to the life of heaven, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you have laid the foundations of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons 
You formed man in your own image and set humanity over the whole world in all its wonder to rule in your name over all you have made and forever praise you in your mighty works through Christ our Lord. And so with the angels we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your Church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Ralph our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Jesus taught us to call God our Father, and so we have the courage to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope of the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, 
and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will refresh you, says the Lord. Spiritual communion prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to have you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as having already come, and I unite myself entirely to you. Never let me be separated. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that having been replenished by such great gifts, we may gain the prize of salvation and never cease to praise you through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended.